John wrote the book of Revelation after he was exiled to a cave in Patmos, Greece. He spent two years in the cave, saw some really hoary visions, put them all together. While the power of John the Revelator's vision is beyond dispute, the writer's true intention has been forever shrouded in mystery. There's always been the question of how to interpret the book of Revelation. Is the book of Revelation a crystal ball? Or is it a magnifying glass? Or is it a mirror? Or is it a window? Some would say all of the above. Whether originally meant as prophecy or allegory, to millions around the world, Revelation stands today as a divinely inspired roadmap for the end of days. The book of Revelation conveys exactly what's going to happen to the world in stages in the end times. To kick off these last days on earth, Revelation states that Jesus Christ will open a series of seals, unleashing the four horsemen of the apocalypse. The arrival of each of these horsemen will bring forth a unique and horrible judgment upon mankind that few will survive. There would be destruction, there will be plagues, there will be wars, there will become a time of tribulation like has never been before and will never be again since. And it all begins with the arrival of the white horse. In Revelation chapter 6, the Lord himself commands from heaven that this whole thing starts. I watched as the Lamb opened the first of the seven seals. I looked, and there before me was a white horse. Its rider held a bow, and he was given a crown, and he rode out as a conqueror bent on conquest. The rider on the white horse represents the Antichrist, the world charismatic political leader. Scripture says he'll be the absolute deceiver, the father of all lies, and he will deceive the entire world into thinking otherwise. Not everybody who rides on a white horse is a good guy. It sounds like, dun, 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 here comes Jesus. I don't think so. I don't think so. The Antichrist seeks to destroy God's people in an effort to clear the way for setting himself up as, as God. The emerging Antichrist's first step will be to unite the planet under his reign. You'll see the Antichrist taking over planet Earth, a one world government, a one world economic system, a one world religion. With Europe united and globalization reshaping our political world, are these times already approaching? I think it's important that people understand that this idea of a one world government uh, is not far off. The one world government and the one world economic system is literally being assembled before our very eyes. And you and I in our lifetime are going to see a world currency and a global government. There'll be a one world authoritarian system that won't look too bad initially, but then, after three and a half years, the Antichrist will reveal himself as the devil. But how is it that mankind will be so easily seduced? According to believers, the rise of the Antichrist will be sped along by deterioration in global conditions, leaving us powerless to resist. The Antichrist must create a need for his appearance. And he's doing that by means of his human agents, by crashing the global economy, killing the dollar, making everyone desperate. Can't take no more! Can't take no more! In December 2007, the world entered an economic spiral that has come to be called the Great Recession. With financial calamities like bank bailouts, housing bubbles, and the European sovereign debt crisis, some believe the stage has been set for the Antichrist's arrival. People set the stage with economic collapse, with food shortages, with war and rumors of war, with every kind of disorder and chaos imaginable. 